Sundance is trying to promote the importance of art through independent film. By bringing a scaled down version of our festival, it allows us to extend who we are and what we do and the way we do it to a country that has such a great, rich cultural history, uh, particularly London. Well, we're kind of the guinea pigs, I guess. I mean, it, this seemed like a really exciting thing, you know, taking 14 films to London for the first time, and uh, it's kind of an invitation you don't say no to. The idea that we're now expanding it and broadening that reach and broadening the importance of the festival is just very exciting. I don't really know what this is going to be like. I just got to the O2 about an hour ago, and um, it seems very exciting and big and vast and British and awesome. The music and film look like that might be the new hybrid. So we try to uh, show that at our festival and bring music here with film to illustrate that that's a connection now that's growing stronger and stronger. Well, I think, I think the Sundance Film Festival has become the critical venue for independent filmmakers. It celebrates filmmakers who have a certain kind of vision, who want to take on material that is not mainstream. To have a place like Sundance, which is such a visible platform, I think they, I think they do an amazing job picking films and finding filmmakers kind of out of nowhere who are these singular voices. Advice to filmmakers, if you believe in something with all your heart, just go for it and don't, don't take no for an answer. <laughs>